folks. This is my wife, Heidi Bagley. Her show is every Thursday night and uh, from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern live at my website, www.paulbagleyprophecy.com. And she's going to talk about the veterans and how that has been, how they've been treated in this country. I cannot come on here today and not talk about what's in the news about the veterans, huh? We have got to talk about that. What is going on with Veterans Affairs? Well, I'll tell you the first thing that goes on. It's lies and conceit. Wow. I'm sorry. Hello. <laughs> why don't you just tell us how you really feel? <laughs> okay. Go uh, ahead. They get these, these young boys to sign up. Sometimes it's still in high school. A lot of times still in high school. They're recruiting them right out of high school. And they're saying, I, would, I need you just to sign right here. And hopefully your mother doesn't get involved and change your mind, right? They want to keep away from the mothers. <laughs> but they want those sons of yours to sign on the dotted line that we're going to give our life over to the government if that means, like my son said, that I have a calling to go do what, serve our country in Afghanistan, all the, all the ones that have served in Iraq, all the ones that have served in Korea, all the ones that have served in World War I, World War II, is yeah. there any World War I veteran still alive? I think the last one died. I really do. I don't think there's any more left. Right. World War II, Vietnam, absolutely. Um, Grenada. There's been all kinds of, of things go on all over the wor world, even when they don't necessarily call them a war. There might have been a squirmish, or what do you call it? Scrimmage? Scrimmage? Um, I'm having trouble with Desert that Storm also. Yes, Desert Storm. All these... All these things. Skirmish. Skirmish. <laughs> why, why would you ask me how to pronounce a word? I mean, I'm well, the last that guy. Doesn't sound right. I'm the last guy you would ever ask to pronounce a word, okay? I mean, it's getting bad. It's getting real desperate. Many ill from Agent Orange in Vietnam. Absolutely, I've taken care of veterans ill from Agent Orange in Vietnam, and I, I will tell you about that in a minute because that is one of my, one of my, uh, what do you call those? Soapboxes. Yes, that's my soapbox. But anyways, um, they get the boys to sign up um, to serve their country, and the boys want to do that. They want to serve their country. and But part of that is, you know, when, when I sign up for a contract, just like when I go for a new nursing job, I want to know what are your benefits, and does that mean, include a retirement plan, and does that include insurance after um, I've served my 30 years for you or whatever? Uh, are you going to continue to take care of me then? When, you know, hey, and as us nurses, and I know there's a lot of nurses out here with me, um, uh, you know, we are lifting 250-pound people all day long. We're doing this and that. We're getting um, every now and then slammed up against the wall by, by somebody psychotic. I mean, so by the time that you've been a nurse for 20, 30 years, you're kind of broken down. <laughs> you've, had a few, um, you've had a few injuries. Well, the veterans, they... they so they come back with all kinds of injuries and that need to be taken care of just because their 20 or 30 years is done, six years is done, two years is done. They all get this same promise is that they're supposed to be able to be taken care of by the Veterans Affair. And then, you know, I don't know why this is a surprise to anybody because I was screaming about this when they first started talking about making those de the cuts in defense and making those cuts in Veterans Affairs because they kept calling them, what do they keep calling them, honey? And I was like, why are they calling them entitlements? Oh, that would just make me crazy. Why would you call this an entitlement? It's not an entitlement. It is what we owe you. I, I don't get it. I hate that. You, you mean you mean it's not an entitlement when it's when it's your part of the of the agreement. Mm -hmm. You kept up your end of the bargain. This is mm -hmm. their end of the bargain. That's right. not an entitlement. No. That's a requirement of a contract. But they kept calling them entitlements before this little episode broke out where somebody finally whistleblowed here about what's going on with the VA. Um, and I, I don't know how that happened, but okay. It, thank God it did get out um, that there are big changes that need to happen in the VA. Because, like I said, that's a lie to tell these people that you're going to have this service for you and then all of a sudden you're 80 years old and oh well that did, you know I tried to get a, a, the, where I work it's for uh, it's long-term care which is totally different than the VA the VA is federal 
and um, ours is state. Long-term care is state, and the VA hospitals are federal. So there's two different entities altogether. What's going on in the news right now is the federal ones. But, you know, I tried to get um, somebody into um, our nursing home, which was um, a veteran's wife, because veteran wives have these um, benefits as well. But there is some kind of clause, and this is just the state of Indiana, I believe. I think every state is different. There is a clause that said you had to be married to the veteran for five years because they said this was actually written in the Civil War times, and they called them war brides, where they would try to marry off their girls to the guys leaving um, for war so that they could get all their benefits. So as a protection to that, they put in a five-year clause that you had to be married five years. And, and I understand that, um, but the, the widow that I was trying to get admitted um, was married to her husband for four and a half years, and he died. And it wasn't like they got a divorce. He died, and she only got four and a half years in, and because of that clause, she could not be taken in. I mean, it's just it's amazing, all these little... You, you just don't know all these little laws and these clauses and, and everything else, and red tape, literally, um, to try to get things to come about. It's, it's really difficult. But um, the VA, which, which one did they pick? Was it Arizona Is that they picked on? Do you remember, honey? Uh, I that, don't. that they brought to light in the news? I believe it was the Arizona VA. But I every, every um, state has their VAs. They have more than one VA, mostly. In most states, depends how big yeah, your state Arizona. is. It was Arizona. Yeah, so Arizona... They realized that there was delay of treatment, is what we call it in nursing. I'm not sure what, what words they're putting at it. Delayed care, they're calling it. Um, Which but, is no care. Well, it's part of the for a lot panels. of people, it is no care. It's because part of they the death before panels. they get that appointment. And it isn't an actual death panel, mm -hmm. but by deliberately delaying a care till they die, mm -hmm. that's, that's a, might as well say that's another death panel manifestation. Well, this nation praises death more than life. Mm -hmm. From conception, we praise death more than life. Mm -hmm. uh, the only guy I know that does that is the devil himself. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's the destroyer. Mm -hmm. he's, the, he's the one that brings death. Jesus brings life. Mm -hmm. So who's running this thing? Who's mm -hmm. running this nation? Spiritually, what I mean by that is, who is God's will being done or is Satan's will being done? In a lot of these areas, I think that's a spiritual question. Mm. Wow. Okay, that's that's your that's your. My bad. Yeah, My that's bad. where you're at. <laughs> but. Uh, My bad. All right. Let me just read uh, from Reuters. Okay, U.S. House Speaker John Bonner said on Thursday he's getting closer to calling for the resignation of Veterans Affairs Secretary Eric Shishchecki. Is that how they say it? Sh yeah, Shinseki. Shinseki. Maybe. But remains unconvinced that his removal would resolve any of the agency's problems. Hmm. There's a thought right there. Bonner said he lacked confidence that the VA's own inspector general has the interest or capacity to root out the source and full extent of problems that have led to allegations that VA medical centers across the country are covering up long wait times for veteran care appointments. VA doctors in Phoenix say 40 veterans died while waiting for care at local VA facilities. Bonner said continued reports of delayed care and secret waiting lists constitute a systemic failure, but stop short of calling for the ouster of Shinseki, a retired four-star general. I've not called for General Shinseki to resign, although I have to admit I'm getting a little closer, said Bonner, a Republican. He explained if Shinseki was ousted, it would shift attention to confirmation hearings for a replacement rather than fixing the problems at the VA. All I know, all that I do know, is that the House of Representatives has a responsibility to get to the bottom of these issues, and we will be working forthrightly to do that, says Bonner. The House Veterans Affairs Committee is pursuing its own investigation into the care delays, which include subpoenas for doc documents related to secret waiting lists at VA facilities in Phoenix, and I can tell you honestly, I've never heard of a secret waiting list. I've heard of waiting list, <laughs> but that you'd be placed on a secret waiting list, that, that is just What do you really mean by strange. a secret waiting list? I, I'm not sure. What I guess that's that? once we get it subpoenaed, we'll figure it out. 
These are men and women who have served our country and we're not just letting them down, we're letting them die. Wow. That's a quote by Bonner. Folks, uh, and Heidi goes on to tell, talk more about this issue uh, of which she's very passionate about. Anyway, if you enjoy... Uh, you know, here's the thing. She does a great job in bringing a lot of these things out. And Thursday night, you can always catch her show. It's at my website from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern at our website. Uh, she's praying daily for our nation. And uh, truly, America needs to repent and come back to God. I'll be right back with more current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy.